Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today I'm reading May Among the Stars, written by Rhoda Ahmed, illustrated by Stasia Burrington. We're gonna start with our riddle first though. How do you know when the moon has had enough to eat? Think about it. Okay, May Among the Stars, we're continuing studying biographies. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed. But little May was different. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth. It's a new book, hard to turn the pages sometimes. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forests, and the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way you can see Earth from space. Astronaut. Do you think I could do that? What do you think? Of course you can, if you can dream if you believe it and work hard, anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library. She reached for books about space and astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because you dream it, believe in it, work hard for it, anything is possible. But space is so far, far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. Looks like a fun dream. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone, and every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in line on the rug. Today, we're going to share dreams about the future. What do you want to be? What do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher. Football player, I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. It's me. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession like for someone like you. I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. At home, May started crying. Miss Bell said I can't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mother. She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away the tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her, she's my teacher. I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you, no one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, go to space. Thank you, Mom, I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. Her mom took her hand and started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, 
I can believe in it. And if I work hard, anything is possible. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went on to, to space and waved to her mom and dad from Earth. Dr. May Jemison. May Carol Jemison was born October 17, 1956. In Decatur, Alabama, May always loved science. She loved being outside and looking up at the stars and knowing that one day she would travel to space. May is highly educated. She graduated from Morgan Park High School in 1973. And at the incredible age of 16, she enrolled at Stanford University, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering. In 1977, after May got her MD, which is a doctor, like a medical doctor, in 1981 from Cornell Medical College, she briefly worked as a general practitioner before leaving to go to work with the Peace Corps as a medical officer in Liberia and Sierra Leone. When she returned home, May decided to follow her childhood dream of going to space, and she accomplished many firsts. She applied to NASA's astronaut training program on June 4, 1987, was accepted. She became the first African-American female astronaut. On September 12, 1992, May's dream finally came true when she traveled to space on the, to the space on the shuttle Endeavour mission, STS-47. It was then that May officially became the first African-American woman in space. May left NASA in 1993 and became the first real astronaut to act in an episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation. Today she heads the Jenison Group and the Dorothy Jenison, Jemison Foundation for Excellence. May speaks fluent Russian, Japanese, and Swahili. Wow, that is an interesting person. Great book. Okay, now you know why I talked about the moon. How do you know when the moon has had enough to eat? When it's full. Get it, full moon? I miss you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.